Hey YouTube, it's Mike and Joe reporting from the Jantic Journal. Uh, today we're going over CC in the heads for the Honda Clone and the Predator 212 Hemi. Um, we're going to CC the heads. We're even going to get into planing the heads. Take a little meat right off the heads so we can get a little bit more compression ratio. Uh, Michael will explain a little better how to do that. Um, he kind of knows how to do it a little better than I do. All right, so yeah, we're gonna, as you said, CC the heads. The reason we're gonna CC them or come up with the cubic centimeters is so we know the volume of them, and then we're gonna calculate our compression ratio um, from that. We know the other three things we need, the bore size, the head gasket. So um, uh, yeah, we're gonna do that. And uh, I have this kit that we got from Comp Cams um, on Summit. Uh, it's pricey, but it works pretty good. Got some regular rubbing alcohol we're gonna use here. Um, so winter green, so it comes already green, no need to add food coloring or anything like that. And um, yeah, there's a few more little tricks we'll get into when we uh, show us actually doing it. Okay, so we have the barrette filled um, right up to, uh, this takes 100 cc's. We're not going to be anywhere near that. This is meant for cars or, or whatever you're, you're using it for. Um, came with this plexiglass with a hole off to the side of it. Um, you have to seal the head or the uh, yeah the head surface here as well as around the valves uh, most guys just use regular plain old Vaseline just a, a thin coat you squish it down it spreads out and seals pretty good um, another thing that's important is you have to use the valves you're you're going to use in the actual engine and as well as the spark plug um, you know that there could be some variance in the uh, in the actual volume of any of those so uh, we're gonna get into it here and see what we come up with I'm gonna just slowly start you kinda gotta just focus more on where it's going than where it's coming from up there we'll, we'll check that after and you know it's tricky you don't want to spill any on top of the plate uh, anything that doesn't go in the hole and ends up somewhere else is gonna mess up the measurement definitely a tedious process Okay, so we have the volume filled up now. Um, it's kind of tedious. We had to cut because it's it's kind of tedious. Um, you have to have it perfectly balanced because if when you fill it up in the air bubbles over here, you have to kind of maneuver things to try to get the air bubble to to where you're um, filling it from. But I feel like I got a good reading on this one, and I'm not sure if you can catch this on the camera, but it's right I went top of the meniscus to the top of the meniscus so it's right at 21 and a half so that's gonna be a uh, a good uh, number for us it actually seems like it's slightly smaller than I measured I did measure this before with stock valves and a different spark plug so I think these valves these aren't dished and I think that plug probably takes up a little more volume um, so looks like we lost about a cc that that's just less we'll have to take off of the head Okay, so I just finished CC in the head on my GX200 clone. It's a little smaller of the head than the Predator 212. Uh, so if you come over here, uh, I did the same thing as you saw Mike do, and I got about nine, a little over 19 cc's in my head. So we're going to do a little math and figure out exactly how much we're going to shave off the head to get to the compression ratio we want. We're shooting for around 10 and a half, um, again, to stay with pump gas. So we're over here at the Bridgeport now. I have the uh, Hemi head jigged up in the mill. Um, I took some time to sweep the mill to the actual bed, which is making sure it's perfectly square to the bed. Um, got the head just on some V-blocks, just clamped down a little bit. It's within a thousandth uh, from one side to the other, and if you want to come in here, I can show you the... Uh, the tool we used to sweep the head and also see how square to the work we are. Uh, there's just a little dial indicator which is attached right to the spindle of the of the bridge port. So you can see it's at about six thousandths there. You won't see it on the back side, but it comes to you don't have to trust me on it. And it's right about yeah, it's at five. So you know we're within one thousandth, uh, which should be good. And this head I'm planning on taking off. Uh, about 25 thousandths, maybe I'll go a little more, maybe 26, 27 thousandths, and that should get us right around a 10.5 to 1 compression ratio. So uh, next up you'll see I'm going to take this off and we'll start cutting. Alright, so uh, I took the dial indicator off and I actually already did an initial pass. Uh, I took off 10 thousandths just to see how it seemed to cut. 
Uh, it, took a, it did a pretty good job, uh, just a basic fly cutter. Um, it's only aluminum, so it goes nice and slow and uh, seems to work good. So uh, I'm just going to put a little bit more cutting oil on, and I already moved it up another ten thousandths, so this will be, this cut will get us down to twenty thousandths off. And then I'll probably just do a uh, like a five thousandths finishing pass after that. So let's start it up. Let's go nice and slow, you know. We're only gonna probably make three passes on this, so no point in rushing it. You come. You got a good uh, video of it. Yep. Yeah, it's cutting pretty smooth. So we'll see how it looks after. Maybe I'll face sand it on a smooth surface if it if it seems to have a little bit of ridges. But so far, it's looking good. So we'll see you after we take it out. See how it looks. Alright, we're back over on the bench here. Uh, I took the head out of the bridge port, um, unjigged it and everything, because I, I took what I, what I wanted off, so I figured we'd be good to take another uh, CC test. Um, we did, it's just above 19 CCs, which is, um, it seems like it's still slightly bigger than we wanted it to be, but uh, we just ran the numbers and the compression ratio is about 10.4 to 1. We were shooting for like 10 and a half to 1, 10.5 to 1. So um, that's good enough. I'm not going to bother putting it back in just to take another few thousandths off. So um, yeah, we should be all set with this head. Uh, we still have to do the other GX clone head. Alright guys, you just watched our video um, of us planing the head for the Hemi. We Just to recap, I believe we took about 26 thousandths off. Um, that's pretty much all we did today. I feel we got a lot done. Next video we're probably going to plane the head on the GX200. That I believe we're planning on taking 50 thousandths off um, just to get to the same compression ratio. Uh, we're also going to cover porting the heads in our next video so uh, definitely stay tuned to that. Uh, do you have anything to say about um, running the bridge port, CC in the heads, anything like that? No, anything that need to know? no I mean um, not too much. So the only thing is if you know you probably noticed that we're taking off twice as much um, off of the GX head. It's because this has a dish piston, which uh, accounts for about three more cc's. So you need to take about three more off of that to make them equal. But um, as far as the bridge port, you know, stay tuned. That should be in other episodes, uh, depending on what we get into. Um, probably even things other than motor work. Yeah. Also, we have a lathe, and who knows? We'll see where see how crazy we decide to get with these bikes. Yeah, I mean, uh, if you like the videos, please subscribe to the channel, tell your friend, share it on Facebook. Uh, Facebook is The Jantic Journal, all one word. If you want to like the page, we're always posting pictures and updates. Uh, other than that, catch you next time on The Jantic Journal.